Hi, I'm Nina Hayes, founder of Sugar Me Cookie Dough, and today I'm going to teach you how to make vegan chocolate chip cookie dough truffles. Um, they're a great recipe because they're super simple to make, um, but they yield like a very impressive finished product. So we're going to start with um, 12 tablespoons of vegan margarine. I'm using Earth Balance here, but you can use your favorite type of vegan margarine. We have three fourths cup of firmly pressed brown sugar. And then we have a vegan white sugar, also three fourths of a cup. And we'll add, um, we'll add the salt, it's organic sea salt. And a half a teaspoon is all you need. Just sprinkle it over. And then we have an organic vanilla extract. I use um, an extract made from bourbon vanilla beans because it's a really rich flavor. Um, there are other kinds of vanilla extract, of course, but um, they can be more floral, so I really enjoy this, this product, Simply Organic. And that's um, a teaspoon. So now we just mix it up. We're going to cream all this together just like you would any other, you know, classic cookie dough that you might have made. So what you're looking for is um, just a really well incorporated mixture with the butter and the sugar completely combined. Um, you know, no, no chunks of sugar, just very smooth. And um, then we add the flour. Um, it's two cups plus two tablespoons of flour. And I used an organic um, unbleached flour here just to make them more healthful. So you can add it in all at once and you can continue to use the hand mixer or um, you know use a wooden spoon if you prefer the mixer is a little quicker um, but cautionary <laughs> use you don't want the flour to go all over you so I kind of like pre mash it in just so there's not too much flour but still you know this could be dangerous we'll see stop briefly to just um, scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure you get all the flour just pick your mixer back up this crumbly texture, um, you're simply going to add in the two tablespoons of soy milk and that will bring it into the dough. So last, last mix, mixing through with the hand mixer. Okay, so as you can see, it's a really stiff dough, which is going to be important because we're not baking these. We're going to be forming them into um, bonbon shapes. So you can use your hands or you can use a rubber spatula. Sometimes it's just easier to use, you know, your nice clean hands. Just get all this off the beaters. And lastly, we have a cup of vegan chocolate chips. Um, I use the mini ones just because the finished products are going to be, you know, small balls. So we want the the small chips to um, be in proportion to the bonbon. And you can just fold these in. I kind of almost chop them in just to get them evenly distributed. So 
So now we have the finished cookie dough and we're going to scoop these bonbons or truffles, whatever you want to call them, um, using a, a melon baller. You can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, they have two sides. I prefer the larger of the two. And um, I, I've done these different ways and the melon baller is great because they come out uniformly and they'll just give you, um, you know, a real professional look. So that's pretty much it. You, know, you, you scoop it up and then I almost flip it. I like invert it just to even out the other side of the, of the ball. Just make a nice uniform one. And um, using this, this melon baller, you should get 54 truffles in total. Um, and I have it here on a waxed, wax paper, or you could alternately use parchment paper just to prevent any, any sticking. So you just proceed, just go on like this until all of your dough is done. And uh, once you fill up your tray, you're going to pop these into the freezer for about an hour. And during that hour, you can, um, you can mix up your chocolate dipping sauce. While our cookie dough balls are in the freezer, we're going to start making the chocolate sauce. And the first step um, to that is reducing the soy milk. So in the pan, we have two and a half cups of soy milk. Any kind will do. And you're just going to um, put that on a medium heat and it's going to come to a simmer and almost to like a low rolling boil. And you're going to want to stir it pretty consistently, not nonstop, but you don't want it to, um, to burn on the bottom. And we're going to reduce that down to one cup. So the soy milk has been simmering about 20 minutes and it looks like it's um, at that one cup point. So we'll just double check by pouring it into a measuring cup. And that's, that's close enough. It's just over a one cup line. So that's perfectly, perfectly close. So in, um, in this burner, we have, we kind of created our own double boiler. Um, not many people have them, so you can just take a saucepan, fill it with water, and then set um, a metal mixing bowl on top. Medium heat. And in here we have uh, 18 ounces of vegan chocolate chips. We use the normal size chip in that one. And to that, we're going to add six tablespoons of the um, vegan margarine. The Smart Balance is the one we used. And then, this is a cup, but we actually only need six tablespoons. So just measure that directly in. Three, four, five, and six. Set that. And, um, I, I tend to just mix this up with chopsticks because we'll use these later when we dip the truffles. So I'm just going to keep mixing this. Um, what we're looking for is a smooth mixture with all the uh, chocolate completely melted and just very, very smooth and creamy. So this looks about right. Um, it's really creamy. Can't see any whole chips. Um, so I would turn the heat to nearly off, just like on the lowest, lowest possible, just to make sure that the chocolate stays nice and fluid. And um, we're ready to dip. So here are the frozen cookie dough balls. They've been in the freezer for about an hour. Um, and as I mentioned, I love to use chopsticks. Uh, you, if you're not, you know, dextile or dexterous with your chopsticks, you can use a fork. But I find, um, you know, if you use a fork, you're going to have like holes in your finished product. So you simply take 
the ball of cookie dough. You just kind of like quickly roll it through. And then we have um, our cookie sheet lined with wax paper. You just set that on and uh, repeat the process. So once you get through all your um, balls of cookie dough and get them dipped, you can pop them back into the fridge or for quicker hardening into the freezer. It should only take about 10 minutes. Um, and then they're ready to eat. So for presentation, I just put these in the little candy cups um, and on a nice plate just for um, you know guests, they're great. Um, you can store them in the freezer for three to six months and otherwise if you're going to be eating them, um, I keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve them or you know maybe take them out 20 minutes before so they're at a nice uh, room temperature. I hope you enjoy the recipe and make these um, truffles for your friends and family.